Property Limited is back here at D9 River Valley area and specifically we're along this private stretch of the Killarney Road and we'll bring you up to this gorgeous 3 bedder right here at the residences at Killarney. So we are going up to this unit that's standing at 1,550 square feet with $500,000 worth of renovation already pumped in by a renowned designer. Let's head up to check out this beautiful home. Let's go! Let's go. Welcome to the unit right here. Once you come on in from your entrance area, you'll notice we have a private lift foyer area as well. We have plenty of storages that houses your DB box, plenty of shoe cabinetry system. Coming in further into the unit, let's say you want to have some privacy at home and you are expecting some guests to be coming yeah. over to visit you, you can actually close this door, partition it out, and there's actually a doorbell right here for yes. them to alert you when they are here. So this is a freehold project, GOP in 2012. I think in total we have about 68, 68 units. Ranging from the standard two, two bedders, bedders, two plus study, three bedder, three plus study, mm. four bedder, four bedder penthouse. So it's equally distributed in such a way that there's a good mix between the unit type within this project itself. Mm. the location wise where this project is situated we're actually sitting along the main Killarney Road yes. which is the main road that connects you seamlessly towards the different areas of Orchard bounded by River Valley Road as well we are actually located in between Orchard, Somerset, Great Wall and also Robertson Key so we are right in the centre walking to Somerset's triple one Somerset is just 5 minutes just another 3 minutes you get mm. to Somerset MRT station you get just one stop to Orchard for your Thompson East Coast Line one stop to Dubigot for your North East Line plus your Circle Line mm. so major shopping malls like Ion Orchard, Takashimaya, Great World City at the back. So these are just less than 800 meters away. And in terms of grocery shopping, yep. we have a 24 hours NTUC right here. If you do want more variety, over at Triple One Somerset, you have your pharmacies, you have another NTUC finest right over there as well. We are also right behind all the shop houses that is along Kalini Road, where all the restaurants, cafe, daily groceries that you can find over there. We are also within 2km of some mm. of the popular schools, ACS Junior, St. Margaret, but most importantly, within one, one click km. of River Valley Primary School. So this is a 1550 square yes. feet layout with a private lift lobby. Once you were to step out of the private lift lobby, you'll be greeted with your living space and your balcony. Dining area is tucked in the center of the yep. house itself with the kitchen right behind it. You'll see that your two common bedrooms is tucked neatly at the left side of the unit itself. Master bedroom is tucked furthest away from the living room with an ensuite bathroom. Common bath is just right beside it. We also have an additional yard, an additional utility that can double up as a helper's, helper's room, room or even a storeroom. And then they have a back door. So I think that's nicely tucked in all over at that corner. actually your main living hall area. So this place is fully renovated. About 500k that is pumped into yes. the unit itself. Flooring all done marble. up, flush in this full marble. And in terms of tonality, it's also pretty neutral. Very, very elegant in style as well. Right over here, there is this TV console. Here we also have a TV. It's a picture frame mm. by Samsung that can double as a TV. So when you're not using the TV, you can actually use this as a, like a picture frame. In terms of the size of the living room, it's around 4 by 5 meters in terms of the dimension with a mm. ceiling height of 3.4 meters so lightings are all installed newly, as well, yeah. newly fixed up as well in terms of the wall finishes this is actually the lime wash treatment but what we also notice is that i think yes. there is also a glazed treatment over the lime wash and also for easier maintenance and then towards the other side of the living corner we also have this sliding glass panel that allows you to connect with the outdoors with the nature as well lighting and fence has already been installed mm. as well although the balcony door has already been tinted we are also facing north so you won't get any east or west sun from where we are. We have a four-seater that is being set up. You can actually bring it up to a six-seater if you yes. just shift the table out a little. And above the dining, we also see a lot of these uh, statement light frames that's already done up for you. So I think this also nicely accessorizes yes. your dining area as well. A lot of different zonings for you to entertain your guests. I think that gives a lot of variety and makes this layout extremely interesting as well. This L-shaped type of setup allows mm. a lot of light to flow into the house as well. This 
kitchen door. It's also like a statement piece door. It's a fluted type of glass, gives some blurry effect, and it actually swings both sides. The kitchen is designed in a bun type of style, so you can see that the doorknob is in color. It's like black, gray, white tonality with a solid stone countertop with millet cooker food and hot induction cooker. A built-in oven has already been done up for you. There's also an overhead microwave by Bosch. The basin area and the cooker area, it's actually separated with a built-in dishwasher by Millet as well. All the drawers, it's all soft closing. And looking at the backsplash, it is sort of like a mini or slimmer subway tiles. Yeah, which is rare to come by. It's very hard mm, to do. Definitely all the premium touches that are being added inside here. Pan over here, you actually have a casement door. So if you're doing heavy cooking and yet you're doing your laundry at the same time, you can easily just close up this door. Right towards my right hand side, you also have an additional WC. This is where our owners have also stacked up your washer and dryer. In fact, if you want to, overhead you can also install your automatic laundry system which is a Stigon. Huge ventilation windows that allows you to air dry your laundry. So moving to the other side of the kitchen, then you'll find that the fridge space is actually nicely tucked at this particular corner. And moving further back, you'll then find your utility room. So all this cupboard has already been done up. But if you want to potentially change this to a helper room, you can actually remove this wardrobe. And moving out of the utility room, refuse chute is just right here. And this will then be the second entrance way that allows you to move in with you want to come in with your wet groceries or you have like contractors that's coming in they can actually come in from here I think I also want to pay a special mention to the flooring that's being done up large format tiles firstly secondly is that it is also anti-slip you don't have to worry about the floor being slippery especially in the kitchen area very meticulously thought out This particular residences at Kalini actually has a very very well equipped facility set up. We have the facilities like lab pool, gymnasium, steam room already done up, children's pool and playground, barbecue pit for your guest gathering and various pavilion and deck spaces for your family to hang out as well. common bedroom. you notice the flooring is done up in this engineered wood kind of flooring and this is consistent across all your three bedrooms. This bedroom right now is being a study area so you have a small built-in desk. You still have a lot of uh, storage spaces. Over the table, you have plenty of storage. Right over here, you also have this PowerPoint flat. For residences at Killarney, all the bedrooms do come with bay window as well. Over at this corner, if you do want to fill in a bed, definitely you can do so. In terms of the switches that our owners have utilised as part of the renovation, all these are also your premium Legrand switches and I think this also nicely complements what we have here for the wardrobe as well as the rest of the shelving as well. common bedroom right over here. Size-wise, quite comparable to what we've seen over there. So you can see that we have a good size queen bed right over here. Ample space at the side to have your bedside table as well. Along the windows, we do have this automatic Venetian blind system that allows you to control the blind system with a remote. We even have closing TV console with a TV frame that's already done up. You also have a design feature light that's over hanging from your bed itself. We also have wardrobe that has already been done up. The bathroom area is fully flushed with your marble, great size vanity. You have a small little ledge over here and plenty more storage space right below. All your tower holder, your WC, American Standard, this is actually your shower screen area. Already compartmentalized nicely with glass paneling so that helps to keep your wet area towards this side. And you can see that the size of this bathroom is great as well. Behind the bay window, we do have window panels that allows you to properly ventilate from the shower area as well. have currently a huge king size bed that's already set up. Plenty of space at the side for your bedside tables. This master bedroom is also being enveloped by kind of like an L-shaped bay window as yep. well. Because we're also on one of the lower floors, thus you get to enjoy this greenery view that's framing. You can even convert some to additional shelving right at the side. Similarly, you have your automatic pets. Venetian blind system. Yep. And one thing to mention is that the windows that we have right here, all the seal has been refreshed and this create a very good ceiling system in terms of the noise cancellation. Just to mention, all the AC within your living, dining as well as your master bedroom are already installed with your ducted AC. For your two common bedrooms, then that will come with your standard AC units yeah. as well. On the wardrobe that is already done up in this very sleek fluted panel design, four casement doors that allows you plenty of storage again all the way up. Side 
stack, you'll see that we have in total about 8 different stacks. For the 3 beta kind of layout over here, you can only find them in stack 6 as well as stack 2. So stack 2 is actually facing the other side, right here where we are at, this is at stack 6. For the master bedroom, this is actually facing predominantly towards the northern side. Whereas here, while we're facing towards the west, we have our neighbour stack right over there that's kind of shooting us away from any direct western exposure. So definitely, if you're hunting for a 3 beta within residences at Killarney, I would say definitely this is one of the more premium stacks. And also if you were to pull out the floor plan analysis between the two 3 beders, right, you'll notice that this, the other 3 beders is actually standing at 1496 square feet and ours is the bigger one which is 1550 square feet. And the difference in layout is mainly at the facing of the private lift lobby, the living and dining space and also the size of the balcony and also the shape of the master bedroom itself. The common bedrooms for that particular layout doesn't line up together or cross each from each other. Kind of have different facing and different type of setup in terms of the layout for the different 3 beders right here. So if you were to pull out the available units that's within the vicinity that comes with a single floor plate kind of layout like ours, within D9 itself, on both sides of River Valley Road, asking PSF prices will be starting from $2,400 odd dollars at the Lumos, and which can go up to $3,700 odd dollars at Lloyd 65. Asking Quantum will then range from 4.28M to $6.5 million. Ken Hill area, asking PSF there will be standing from around $2,400 at the lights at Ken Hill to $3,200 odd dollars at Urban Suites at Harlot Road. And Hilltops right there, we have a Lux project. We'll be asking from 5.28M with the asking PSF of $3,200 to $8.2 million with a PSF price of around $4,700. And if you were to move further east towards Orchard Boulevard and Towning area, asking PSF will then be from near $2,700 at St. Martin's residences to $3,200 at the Grange. Quantum will be from $4.1 million to $5.68 million. For newer projects like Boulevard 88, asking Quantum starts above $8 million with an asking PSF above $4,600 at the new launch project Irwell Hill Residences it is almost fully sold by now and there are some subsidy units that you can find on the market right now lowest asking PSF is already at $2,800 for two bedroom units so if we were to come back to our unit itself we are asking at $4.28 million with an asking PSF of around $2,700 this would then mean that we are actually priced at a very sweet spot in terms of the asking PSF and also the quantum Of future transformation within this vicinity itself. I think the new plot over at Orchard Boulevard, MRT station has already been sold and awarded. The break even pricing that we're looking at is $2,600 odd dollars. Yes, yeah, Let's yeah. say a conservative estimate of 20% profit that will then bring you up to a $3,200 odd dollars type of PSF during the launch. So if we were to conservatively put it at $3,200, this will then means a very great disparity effect between our pricing and the yes. new launch plot that is coming up at Orchard Boulevard. And a lot of the GLS plots these days are all belonging to the 99 years leasehold category. You can no longer find any freehold kind of lease within the new launch segment market. So definitely if you're a buyer hunting for freehold within the heart of D9 River Valley area, you're looking for a move-in condition unit, I think this is one of the best choice in today's season right now. And recently, there's also a news that just came up that there's going to be two new land parcels that's going to be for government land sale. And these two plots will be behind Trillium and also Sentinel Suite. Once these two plots of land were to be sold and the launch price will probably be higher than the Orchard Boulevard. I think we're approximating between three to 4,000 kind of PSF because these are the newer land plots and also because they're situated closer towards the MRT. And also they are situated in a very, very prime area. Yes, that will also help to bolster pricing in terms of disparity gap between a freehold development within River Valley area versus some of the other new launches within the same area as well. bedroom area, extremely luxurious. It is fully tiled up in your full premium brown tonality kind of marble scheme. Wahang WC is over here. You do have this sink that has a lot of bottom storage, huge grand mirror. Your shower area, you can see this is such a grand space. All your bay window area is also very luxuriously flushed with your full marble over here. Similar Venetian blinds that helps to protect your privacy as well. come 
to the end of the whole tour and we hope that you have taken a great look at this gorgeous unit right here over at Residences at Killarney. Standing at 1,550 square feet, a 3 bit 2 bath unit. Very well designed, very well laid out. Newly renovated with all brand new appliances. So what you basically need to do is just pack your luggage and move in. This is literally in a show flat condition. Yeah. So if you like what you have seen so far, do give our listing managers a call. And keep a look out for our next home tour content. We are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Joanne. I'm saying what? Property Lim Brothers, always, always happy to show you the place. Right here at Kalani at Residences, Residences at Kalani. <laughs> The unit, so we're right inside the window. We're used to level one. Oh, we're in the shadow. Very well designed, Leo. Very, okay, very, uh, okay. very well designed and laid out.